Hi everyone, I have more mystery boxes, this time from Newcastle Collecticon. I have a Pokemon hotbox, two of these mystery bag things, and two mystery hotboxes, which I'll save for last. So first off, I'll open these ones because I know that they are not PSA, I think. We'll see. Anyway, oh no, maybe this was the not PSA one. Save those, do this one first. First thing we have, oh yeah, we get the Pokemon tattoo things from the 90s. We have Trick or Trade, Japanese booster pack, Pop Genics. Yes, that's the store that I bought this from. I bought from them in a past video as well. Booster pack, and there should be one English, Temporal Forces, and our graded. Oh no, wait, there's another booster pack. Oh, there's like a repack. Sick. And our card, our graded card is. Dun 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 dun. Decidueye VMAX in an 8. Cool. The back's different now, they've changed. Cool. So that can be added to my personal collection. Alright, let's open. I'm not opening this, there's no point, there's like nothing in there. Um, I'll open this Pokemon tattoo. I wonder if it still works after all this time. We have Victory Bell, Graveler, and Primate. There should be another one here. Goldock, Golbat, and Pikachu. I'm totally gonna test them out. Or am I? May as well. <laughs> May as well. So that's that. And the booster packs. Just do the Japanese ones first. I didn't go overboard this time. I only bought five mystery things, so there was a lot more, but. I can usually gauge whether they're good or not now, after opening quite a few. Oh, these are not guaranteed holo packs in the Japanese ones. It's pretty... But you know what, the holos aren't really worth anything today anymore, so it doesn't really matter. Really not one of my favorite Pokemon. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, I like the Toad's Claw more than that, but hey, it's something. And we also have an English pack left, which I completely forgot about. Oh. Should have opened these a bit more quicker, but already on three minutes. Oh, there's something good. I think there's two good things in here. Let's have a look. Got a robot. Reboot pod, sick. It's my first um ace spec card, and yeah, that's our pull. Oh no, QR code. What the hell? Yeah, nice. I've got a vacuum cleaner. That's a pull, and the repack as well. move on to another one now. Let's move the camera up over here so I don't have to look at the rubbish on the side. Alright, let's open this one. Now this one has a graded card and a chance of another graded card, like a Charizard one. Trick or trade, everyone has trick or trade apparently. Uh, this is Booster Bounty. I think I also bought from them last time too, I'm pretty sure. Temporal Forces. Ooh, Pokemon Go. And our graded card is a Calyrex VMAX. Nice. I thought that these were PSA graded things, but I guess not. 
kids remember. Oh, uh, maybe it's like chance that PSA graded Charizard. But the other cards don't have to be PSA. Blastoids and Radiant Blastoids. Love to see it. Ooh, Gouging Fire AX. Nice. Alright, second one. Trick or Trade, Pokemon Go, Twilight Masquerade, and our slab is <laughs> a Chandelure V in an 8. Very random cards, very random grades, but it's something fun to add to the collection. And hey, they're not common cards, at least they're Vs. I like that other seller at Smash, I think it's Pokey Annie, do not buy from them. Nothing in this pack. Ooh. That looks so sick and it's textured. Very nice. Okay. These are the ones I'm excited for. These are also the more expensive ones, so hopefully get our money's worth from them, but we will see. Okay, open it like that. Our first thing is Coridon AX. Poor me. Paldean Student. Uh, I think my favourite would be Coridon. I don't particularly like these other ones. I'll probably sell them. And then our two packs, we have Scarlet and Violet Obsidian Flames. Now these say that they're PSA, so they better be PSA. Whoa, that's sick! Yo, Entei in a nine. Damn, I wasn't expecting vintage out of these. What's the second one? We have a Mewtwo V in a nine. Well, okay, um, you know what? These were more expensive, but actually worth. If I see these people next time at Hobby Hangout or whatever, I'll buy quite a few from these people. It's actually worth. Nothing in the packs. Well, nothing in that pack. Nothing in that pack too. Alright, next one. Wait, ooh, ooh, yo. Moelle V, a gold fighting energy and a flag on V. Fuck. Yeah, this is this is a booth where absolutely worth buying. Like, if I could go and do this again, I would just buy from this booth. I wouldn't buy from the other booths. Caldeo Evolved. Scarlet Violet. Our first graded card is... Whoa, Friends in Sinnoh in a 10. Wow. That's an, that card looks amazing. I think I have a raw. I'll probably sell the raw one now. Just keep that. Or it might be the other one. I don't know. And a Blastoise from Pokemon Go Hollow, which is cool as well. So thank you for watching everyone. I'll do another one of these soon and goodbye.